What is up, guys? Galakai here. <coughs> Today is a special day. I am back, reamped, and pumped to announce that I'll be getting online very soon. It's like a free video, you know? I have the newest games, unfortunately, on internet, but I got the newest games. I got Fallout 4, I got uh, Black Ops 3, and I have uh, Halo 5. So I, I got content, and I'm ready to put it in. Ready to get back to my old me. Start pushing out these videos and stuff. Now, done being a workaholic. To start out the talk, today's talk is about the division. Is this game going to be just like Unity, or would it be fixed up like Syndicate? We have uh, my co host, Afro Boy, in here, and he's going to spread his knowledge along with mine sure. to kind of point you guys in the right direction. All right, what's up, Afro Boy? I mean, was good, you know, uh, out here motivated to get these subscribers, you know what I'm saying, to um, widen my range of news, you feel me? Yep. Yeah, so, so the topic is the division, okay? Now, I'm pretty skeptical in this game because who's it made by? Ubisoft. Now, Ubisoft last year. I would just, they were buns, they were trash, they were, they was all of it, you know. They 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 did not produce any good games. Watch Dogs, trash. Unity, trash. What's the other one? What was the other one? Fallout 4. Was it? I mean, I said Fallout 4. Was it Far Cry? Didn't they make Far Cry? Yeah, they made Far Cry. Okay, Far Cry. It was good, but the co-op, they lied. Just like Assassin's Creed, oh, Unity co-op, they lied. Um, so... That's the reason why I'm skeptical about the division because I don't know how it's gonna be. Now the trailer, don't get me wrong, the trailer is dope. That trailer is fine. I want the game. I kind of want the game. Then again, I kind of don't want it just because it's UV. So, <laughs> so it may be a good game, but the co-op may be trash. You know, you might experience a lot of the servers going down or or, or any other thing. I mean, I'm just kind of skeptical on this game. I don't know. Ooh, all right. And also, right. the three players, and then they, they was talk I heard that it's going to be four players, but the fourth player has to be on a tablet, just like Watch Dogs. When we did the co op Watch Dogs, and you know, Watch Dogs, their online was trash. So I just don't know how the game will be. Hopefully, it will be good. I don't know. All right. What I got to say is. For one, you know, of course, you know, you got to get a, you got to give credit where it's due. And you, Ubisoft is probably the worst company of last year, along with, you know, Activision being probably the second contender because, you know, Advanced Warfare was bad. Destiny was okay. So, you know. <laughs> Back to Ubisoft, though. Yes, Far Cry 4, I, I, I'm, I'm a very big victim of all their games. So, yeah. last year, I bought Fall. Far Cry 4, I said Fallout as well. I know, yeah. Cry, <laughs> I bought that. It was sadly the same as, like, 3. Just, it just felt the same. I couldn't even play it. Co-op, it was glitchy. I remember Afro was swimming on land. <laughs> yeah, that, that was funny. And there was really no reason to be in co-op because we didn't progress in the story. Why make a game co-op when you can't progress in the story? You see, what companies have to understand is this generation is a online multiplayer generation. So if you don't got multiplayer, it kind of, depending on who you are and what company you are and what game it is, it kind of sways people from that game just because of there, no, there is no multiplayer. Now, multiplayer basically makes a game great because I'm pretty sure you, Galakai, and other people watching this, that you would want to play with your friends if you were, like, doing a story mode. Just like... Um, I don't know. Let's say Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Like, if you can progress through the storyline on co-op, I'm pretty sure that would make that game even better than what it is. And is you then just you playing online? I mean, by yourself. Yeah, <laughs> it was Syndicate. I I actually haven't played it. I didn't get it because I'm scared. But I heard it was okay from the most part. I think it got like an eight, which is all right. <laughs> um. 
was another thing that they did? Ubisoft also, uh, I think, announced Far Cry. I forgot the name of it. Like, I, I don't want to, I want to say it wrong, but it's like old, like, it's like cavemen and like, 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 like hunters and predators and stuff like that. They took it back, and I looked at it, and it just looked like DLC of Far Cry 4. <laughs> it's just like a reskin. It's kind of like the DLC they did in um, Far Cry 3. Far Cry B, Far Cry B, Far Cry 3 DLC was already, it was it was good. It was more than a skin. I heard they put, like, a lot of different missions and stuff, and they they did a lot for Far Cry 3. And now Far Cry 4 is just, like, they reskinned it, and they think the same thing's going to happen again. Which you, you have your loyalists that will buy it, but... I think I'll talk for Afroboy. I'm not buying it. You're not going to see me buying this new uh, Far Cry, especially if it's going to be at $60 for retail. No, it's not going to work. Um, yeah, I don't know about Far Cry either. I mean, I was never a Far Cry fan. That was just so happy that I got that from Gamefly. That's the only way I played that game. But, I mean, I've never, I, I never been a Far Cry fan. I bought that. You would have been the bad thing. Get, get, um, get Unity, get Unity. Hey, download it. <laughs> it was broken. And, bruh, <laughs> Unity was the worst. Oh, I think Unity was, like, one of the worst games last year because of that patch. I mean, because of all the glitches. As soon as you start the game, like, the game just came out and you're already falling through the ground. Who releases a game like that? They're, that's why Ubisoft, they're very unreliable with their games. They're, I mean, they just try to get their games out there just to compete with other companies, but you cannot compete with another company if you don't take time to finish your game and actually make sure that everything is going right with your game because that upsets the consumers. And now it makes people like me and Galakai who are skeptical about The Division, their new game. And also, um, Assassin's Creed Skin Syndicate, everybody was skeptical on that. And I, just like Galakai had said, I mean, I got like an 8, so I guess it kind of did good. But, I mean, I, I don't know. I just don't know, man. Yeah. It's just that, and, oh, I forgot, I, like, all right, let's see. Yeah, just the uh, division. And then on, on another scary note is, like, Ubisoft has been, like, um, re- like just, like, pushing out trash, if you want to say. Like, you know, if you, you, normally they say don't fix something unless it's broken. Assassin's Creed wasn't broken a very long time ago. They broke it and keep forcing it, like, to us as consumers, they force it out, and it, it, yeah. it turns to like a good like game because it is a, the only series that has it. Besides Thief, I think the game that came out Thief is just like Creed a little bit, not really. But all they have to do is take the time. You're the only person doing what you're doing. You're not losing money doing a two-year plan and, and stuff like that. It's just they're releasing like 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 garbage. I heard uh, Unity and the other one that came out for uh, last gen was actually better than Uni- Unity. That's what I heard. And um, God, on top of that, remember. like uh, uh, Watch Dogs. Oh God. For example, the game came out. It didn't live up to its ex- expectations. Then they had the they had the like they they had the like the the thing that like um geez, what game was it? They revealed they revealed uh, Watch Dogs too. There you go. They revealed they Watch did? Dogs. They did. Yeah, they did. Oh my oh, yeah. gosh, no. It's the thing. It's been revealed. I, their 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 downfall with Watch Dogs was storyline was too competitive. I, I mean, I said competitive. It was too repetitive. Every mission was the same. You sneak into this building, you hack some cameras, and you get past them, and you, you get to the end of the um throughout the thing. That was. It was too repetitive, you know. They needed something to change it and change it. Now, if they reboot Watch Dogs and make it better, then maybe. But if you're gonna release a Watch Dogs two and your first one didn't even didn't even do good, why why not reboot it and call it something else? Exactly. All you have to do is just, you know, take your get time. Get back to the chalkboard. Take your time. One of, the, one of the things I didn't like was the movement. The movement to me felt so still. It just felt like. I know that sounds dumb, like, because all you are is just moving a, a analog stick up, but I felt like, like, you're, you doing that as a person, it didn't feel like, too, like, too much good feedback. Like, you know, GTA, you have feedback. For one, you have the controller vibrating. For two, you know, it, he gets fatigued and all that, and tired and all that, and stuff like that. 
and, and Wash Dog, it was just like you're running, and it just felt like it, it felt like the game was doing more of it than you, and it just didn't. I just didn't like the gameplay at all. I I watched Afro's video on it, and I'm like, you're gonna make another one? He's like, no, that thing's trash. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, man. So, uh, yeah, I mean, hey, it's Ubisoft. You never know with them, man. So I mean, they had some good games. Assassin's Creed, you know, it was a good series too. You got the Unity. I think after Assassin's Creed three, it just went downhill from there. And I heard that the year that um Assassin's Creed Unity was made, you know, because you know they 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 turned it into an annual thing when they make Assassin's Creed every year like Call of Duty, which they need to stop because. They they just need to take their time off. See that's that's what they don't understand. You take they need to take your time. Just like Call of Duty, they need to take a break every year. But I guess it would count as a break because the company switch every year. So I guess it would count as a break. But then again, I don't know. But yeah, just like I said, Ubisoft they need to take a break and they just need to stop with just releasing every year. But it's back to what I'm saying. That the creator of Assassin's Creed, he was fired from the company. I heard. I read this in game before that he was fired from the company that year that um, Unity was made. So that might be another reason why Unity was rushed out. So I mean, I really don't know. Um, hopefully, I mean, since I mean, I think it is a good sign that Division it was supposed to come out this year, but it got pushed back to next year. So maybe that is a good sign that they actually went back to the a little bit went back to the drawing board and seen what their flaws well, was and everything. Hopefully, they did that. Well. Well, let me say something, like a little, a little note, to, like a sticky note on that. Like, uh, by the way, um, rest in peace, Tom Clancy actually did die, and he was the creator of that game. So, hopefully, I mean, I, I, I could see that as being a, a setback because you know that is he, he's a really good writer and he makes like really great books. I heard he's a lot of success off of his books, and I heard his son is taking over. So, oh, so hopefully the game will still hold up. He a mastermind at doing those shooters. You make them realistic. Rainbow Six was a success. Yeah, I, I, I played the beta for um, Rainbow um, Seeds, Rainbow Six. I mean, I never, this my, that was my first time playing it, so to me, it was, you know, it, it was pretty, you know, nice. I liked the, um, the game mode that I was playing. I forgot what it was called, but basically you go in there with your four of your friends or four random people, and you got to clear out all the terrorists in that room, and it's like, you have to communicate with the people you're playing with, and also your, if you're playing with your friends, you gotta communicate with all of them. It's just like going in, just like you being in real life. You actually have to break into whatever place they tell you to, and you have to think out and plan everything, you know, um, right because they can have trip mines set up in the hallways. You can blow up and everything. You just gotta that game. You have to be really into it because if you slip once, you're dead. <laughs> So you have to be really into that game. I mean, I I wish that Galaxy, I wish that you had the beta too, so we could have played it. But you know, I, I found the code online. You know what I'm saying? For free. Yeah, I signed up for their beta, not knowing that I wasn't gonna have to enter that first one. Sorry about that, guys. But... Yeah, so I mean, that I mean, the C6 seems like it's gonna be good. I mean, so whenever it comes out, I just might copy it and I might be playing. TV Alakai and also Nappy Boy because I mean, I like the game. I'm pretty sure you would like it. I'm pretty sure Nappy Boy would like it because you really have to sit up there and think everything out. It's pretty dope. Yeah. All right. Well, to wrap this up, to get it done, to put it to the side is, all right, Ubisoft, please, please, as a company, we do not want to see you fail. We do not want you want you to be the next Activision that just pushes out stuff. We want to see you pass <laughs> and get better. Assassin's Creed, please stop doing the uh, every year plan. Yeah. Think about please, it. Please, please, Watch please. Dogs. Watch Dogs, please go back to the chat board. Take some, <laughs> take some mechanics from another company or something. <laughs> something. Um, yeah, that was Please don't release Broken. That's all I got to say. Yes, now. please, please, because games, they have been known for this this whole year. They were releasing Broken games. Um, which one? Syndicate, they had a day one patch. 
how you got a 17 gig day one pack? I think it was 17 gig, 12 gig on Xbox One and seen it. How you get, how you get a day one pack? The game should have been packed before it came out. Makes no sense. Yeah. So Ubisoft, just take your time. Just yeah, that's all. That's all I gotta say. Just take your time and think and give the consumers what they want. We're complaining for a reason because your games are not performing how they're supposed to. They're being trash. All right, we don't want them to be trash. All right. All right, and um, once again, guys, it's Galakai and Afro Boys. Please leave a leave a like and subscribe and link below for the channel. Thanks for watching. Peace. This is the real gaming setup over here, alright? So as you can see, we got the TV, we got the PS4.